Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Candyware and today we're going to be making a little macaroon white hot chocolate plate. Hi everyone! Thank you for coming back to Candyware. I am Candice. Um, if you are returning, thank you. And if you are new, this is the place where we make adorable miniature food jewelry. In today's video, we're going to be making, like I said, cute little macarons with white hot chocolate. This was a custom order and I just couldn't help myself. I needed to tape it so I could show you guys how to make something so cute. Um, I'm personally a super fan of white hot chocolate. How about you guys? Are you more into white hot chocolate or regular hot chocolate? Um, but anyways, find a link in the description box below with all of the tools you'll need for this. Please don't forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Don't forget to click on the little bell to stay up to date with what's going on with candy wear. And if you want something like this, you could always go to my Etsy shop and find something you like. Or ask me to make a custom order, I'm always happy to do things like that for my wonderful customers. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right onto the DIY, shall we? So here are all the tools and find them in the link below. So first we're going to be taking our liquid Sculpey and we're going to be adding a generous amount inside our little teacup. After that you're going to be taking some soft pastel. I am, since I'm making white hot chocolate, I'm taking white and I'm going to be adding a decent amount inside this because even though this looks white, it actually will dry more translucent so we need to add some pigment to it or else you won't have any color. So we're going to mix this all up. I like using a toothpick for this. and then. If you think that's good enough, that's perfectly fine, but I always like to mix a little bit up and then add a bit more and then mix it again. So once we're done with that, you're going to add that into the toaster oven for about five minutes. After that, we're going to be working on the macarons. So I am making a cherry and lemon. So first we're going to be rolling out some of the Indian red color. And I am using a small um, cookie cutter to cut out the two little pieces I want. And you want this to be quite thin. And what I'm doing there is just rounding out the top so that the macaron looks nice and rounded. And then we're going to be doing the same thing in the yellow slash lemon color. What's your favorite macaron? I don't think I actually have one, but we had some really good ones when I when we went to France. But yeah, anyways, so sometimes they get stuck. You could use some baby powder on, on your cookie cutter or just push down like you saw me do there on the clay. It'll help it stay on um, the clay and instead of inside the cookie cutter. So you're going to do the same thing where you just flatten out the top and then you're going to cook those for three to five minutes. So after the five minutes, and the reason why we do that is so that we can add on a little ball of white. Now I'm doing this to have it have like a little bit of whipped cream on top. Now this is definitely an optional step, but I think it just looks very, very cute. So like I said, we're adding a little bit of white here. And this is just to um, hold up the dollop that we're going to be adding on. And after that, you're going to bake it for another couple of minutes. So there I took a very small amount of the same color and smushed it down on my tile. And then I'm taking a toothbrush and adding on a whole bunch of texture. So this is what makes it look uh, that really iconic little puffed up section on the very bottom of the macaron and um, you're going to cook that again and you're going to do that to all four. Now once this has come out of the oven, the little teacup, I know this might be a tad bit confusing, but we're adding on some icing now. So this is where you can be creative and just 
、um, keep going in circles. Have a lot of fun putting as much icing on top of it as you want. Just keep going around and around. Yeah, there's a lot of steps in this tutorial with baking it for a couple of minutes and then coming back and baking it again, kind of deal. So,、um, yeah, <laughs> it's okay. It'll come together in the end, everybody. So after that, I'm going to be adding on a little bit of chalk pastel in like a caramel color, just to give it a little bit of. Some fun texture on top, and then we're going to bake that for the full time in the toaster oven this time. So that color there is a purple I made、um, just by mixing red and blue.、Um, and then you're going to add in a small amount in between the two pieces of the macaron that we've previously made and toasted for five minutes each interval. And then you're going to be doing that also for the lemon, as you can see there, with white. And then you're going to again, just like the teacup, you're going to cook it for the full time. And then we're going to be once everything has been baked, we're going to be assembling everything. So I just put the teacup and the tea saucer together with the little spoon, glued that all. And then once you're done that, you can take some more glue and add that to the. Very bottom of the saucer, and then place that on the plate wherever you want. And then we're going to be adding a little bit more of the glue, and then we're going to be placing both of the macarons. And then once you've done that, you can take your bale, and we're going to be adding a bit more glue on this, and then you can put this however you want to place it on. To your plate, and you're gonna just hold it for a couple of seconds, like I am, until it takes. And then once it has, you can let go. And the last step is we're going to be adding on the varnish. So I'm using my Sculpey glaze, and I'm adding it on the inside of the hot chocolate. And once that's dry, you can take your necklace and. Add that through the bale and close it on up. How cute is this, everyone? It turned out so well. Thanks so much for crafting with me, everyone. Can't wait to see you on next Friday's crafty kawaii video. Bye.